Hello writer and welcome back to my life. Writer Wednesday where I give you my tips and advice on the art and the business of writing and tell you how I do what I do as an indie author. Today we're answering a question from one of my $5 patrons on Patreon who are able to request show topics and who get these videos two weeks before anyone else. Today's question comes to us from patron Gerald Hornsby who asks, how do you handle your daily writing schedule? Do you do it at a specific time or when you can? Thanks for the question, Gerald. A daily writing schedule has been the bane of many a writer's existence and none more so than me. The first part of the answer is that you don't necessarily necessarily have to have a daily writing schedule. Plenty of authors don't. My opinion on this has varied wildly over the years. I used to think that if you weren't writing every day at the same time every day, then you just weren't serious about being an author. I also used to think that waiting for inspiration before you started writing was pretentious and something no serious author would do. And on that point, well, I guess I'm still a little bit on the fence about it. But here's the thing. Some people say they have to be inspired to write as an excuse for why they don't. If you've been trying to write for years and you haven't even finished a single novel because you only write when you're inspired, Inspired, that's one thing. But if someone sits down on Wednesday, looks at the manuscript and says, nope, I'm not feeling it today, but they did write on Monday and Tuesday and they write again on Thursday, that's something else. There's a difference between waiting for some sort of divine influence to sweep down upon you and move you into the chair to start typing and occasionally realizing that, you know what, it's just not happening today. To some degree, it's a mindset thing. Because of the nature of my work and the nature of the entire indie publishing industry, I have to have a pretty results-focused mindset. Either I'm writing or I'm not. The pudding's proof isn't to be found in how I feel, but whether I'm finishing books and how good they are at the end of the process. What it comes down to is control. Now, control can have some bad connotations, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is whether or not you are in control of your writing schedule, whether or not you are able to exert some causative influence over it. My previous hardline attitude that you had to write every single day at the same time every day was extremely unhealthy for me. Because if I missed my start time because of circumstances I couldn't control, I felt like crap, and I was more likely not to write at all that day. And it also didn't allow me to do anything else, like doing the live shows at the farmer's markets we've been doing recently, exhibiting at a convention, that's not possible with a daily writing schedule. And so in trying to control myself so rigidly, I actually reduced my ability to control my own schedule and do other things that are also beneficial to me, both as an author and as a person. Okay, so all that being said, a daily writing schedule that starts at the same time every day and goes for the same length of time every day is extremely beneficial to me and has been extremely beneficial to other authors as well. The most words I ever wrote in a period of time was a three-day period in 2015 where I wrote 50,000 words. And on those three days, I got up at the exact same time, absolutely refused to look at my phone before starting work, started writing on schedule, and did not leave my chair until I was done writing for the day. I am always striving for that level of consistency and that level of production. I know that a regular schedule benefits me, which in turn benefits the company and everyone who works for us. But I also know that I cannot sustain that level of production forever, or even for a very lengthy period of time, and so I've had to learn not to feel badly or punish myself when I don't hit those numbers every time. I find that it helps to take a higher altitude view of your productivity and your schedule. The day-to-day -day is less important than the trend. I mostly view my writing productivity on a monthly basis now. Did I put my butt in the chair for more hours this month than last month? And more importantly, did I write as many words in those hours? If the answer is yes, I tend not to sweat my daily schedule quite as hard. If the answer is no, I try to course correct back to basics. More priority on butt in the chair and work being done, less priority on the millions of other things that come with running a small publishing company. And that comes back to being focused on results. Figure out what result you're going for. For me, it's number of words per month. But when you're just starting out, you might care about number of words per week. Track your production, and if you're not seeing the number of words you write each week trend upward over time, change something. Go for a daily writing schedule that starts at the same time every day. Or if you've already been doing that, try changing what time of day you do write, or try writing for longer periods, or try writing for shorter periods, but multiple times a day. Different things work for different people. Remember that you are trying to find a solution that works for you and which you can control. It's useless to worry about the fact that you're not starting every day at 5 a.m. just like that one successful indie author you've heard about if you can't start writing writing at that time because of work or family or whatever circumstances in your life. Solicit as much advice as you can from as many sources as you can. Try all of it and keep doing whatever you can use in your writing schedule, daily or not that improves your results. So I'll go for you today, writer. Thank you so much to Gerald for today's question. I hope you and others found the answer helpful. A reminder once again to the rest of you that Gerald and my other $5 patrons are the only ones who can ask me questions to cover in these videos, and they get to see them two weeks before anybody else. If you want to be one of those awesome and incredibly attractive individuals, click the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!